Pro Tool 7.4 and Elastic Time will give you so much flexibility when it comes to working with audio inside of your Pro Tools session. The ability to quantize and apply groove templates so that other audio regions take on the same feel is just one of the many uses for Elastic Time. I'm going to start by opening up the Digibase browser because I want to add some loops into this session. We'll start with some drums. A nice lazy swing feel to that. Just drag that straight into the edit window. I'll add some congas and maybe a tambourine file. Now I can play this again while I audition for other files. Nice. So I think I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to drag it into the edit window. I'm going to duplicate it and we'll take a listen to that. So first thing, I'm just going to select all of these regions, just holding down shift, going to duplicate twice so we can hear a before and an after comparison of the quantize. So I'm going to select the regions in this second set up to the event menu and we'll open up the quantize window. Choose a 16th value, in this case, from the flip menu, and keep your eye on the waveforms. They'll shift slightly as I apply the quantize. There we go. Now I've quantized these audio regions to a hard 16th note, but you have full control over many other quantized parameters. For instance, you've got tuplet, offset grid, randomize, swing, and of course, quantize strength. Now on the last set of regions, I want to take the lazy swing feel from the drums and apply that to the other regions using a groove template that I made earlier. I'm going to be applying it to the congas and the tambourine. Here we go. I'm going to select both of those regions and from the flip menu, I'm going to choose my groove template. Keep your eye on the waveform again. Watch for that shift as I apply the quantize. Perfect. So now my guitar, my conga drum and tambourine all take on the same feel as my drummer. And you gotta love that. Now, of course, all of these regions will follow the tempo of your Pro Tools session. However, if you're slowing the tempo down quite radically, you may want to make fine adjustments on a per track basis using the Elastic Time plugin window. Let's do it. I'm going to start with a fine adjustment to the guitar. Let's hear that with the conga. Nice, that is a huge difference. And of course, making those slight adjustments using the Elastic Time plugin will really make a difference to the way your song sounds when you play it at slower tempos. Let's take a look at what's been happening beneath the waveform. Just gonna take those four tracks and switch them into warp view. There we go. Now the first set of regions, the unquantized ones, the event markers are all grayed out. On the second set, the event markers have been turned into warp markers because we quantized. The guitar, conga, and the tambourine in the last set have had the groove template from the drums applied to them. So they've also been turned into warp markers. Bring up the tempo and take a listen. Excellent. There we go quantizing audio with elastic time. Now in the next video, I'll show you just how easy it is to turn ordinary audio files into elastic ones, so stick around.